So if we make our way down the AV rack, we get to the heart and soul of the home theatre system, and that's the AV processor. So in this rack, I've got an Acurus Muse immersive processor. I've only had this for about three or four weeks now, but so far I've been really, really impressed with it. In fact, it's probably the best processor I've ever owned or reviewed or seen at any other home theatre I've been to. It's amazing. It's a 16 channel processor and it's so pure that any data signal you feed into it is exactly the same data signal you're going to get out of it. It doesn't mess around with anything like some of the Denons do where they're doing upscaling or, or messing around with the picture. Maybe if it needs to add a volume control, there's nothing like that. And one of the reasons it doesn't need to mess around with the signal is because it displays everything so nicely on this front display. In fact, it's probably one of the nicest front displays I've seen on any AV equipment. It's clean, it's precise, and it's beautiful. It certainly sets the standard, and I wish other AV equipment would do something similar like this. One of the nice things about the Acurus Mew is that it's fully upgradable, and that's something you don't get on some of the cheaper things like the Denets and the Morants. This set comes with an HDMI 2.1 board, but if it didn't, and you were owned a previous early version of a Muse, you could actually buy the HDMI 2.1 board separately on its own for a fraction of the price of a new AV receiver or a processor, install it yourself, and install the new upgraded firmware, and bing, bang, bong, you're ready to go, 8K. As I said, this has already got the 2.1 uh, board in it. I'm just waiting for the firmware to drop, and then I can run 8K essentially, or 4K at, 120 hertz. Of course, the Acurus Muse can basically play anything you throw at it. It supports all the modern audio formats, you know, DTSX, Dolby Atmos, and I won't go too much more into this. There is a video coming up on the Acurus Muse where I unbox it and go through it in, in finer detail. 